Thanks a lot, Evelyn. Here in number seven, what? They give us a piecewise and they want us to do a few things. They want us to graph it and then they want it, us to write it as a unit step function. As a unit step function. So when we're graphing this, I first need my tick marks. All right. And then what? From zero to three, we're at zero. Okay. And then what? From three to five, we're at minus two. That's that. And then from five to seven, we're at positive two. It owns the left endpoint, indicated by the greater than or equal sign, these guys. All right, and then after that, with forethought, I could have planned better. It's at one for perpetuity for every x after seven. All right. So graphing the piecewise wasn't the hard part. The different part is writing the unit step function. How's that? We're looking for our g of t. Whoa there. We see that it's zero, so we don't worry about it. We ain't got no worries. Until we get to our action number three. Psh, that guy, that corresponds with that. Boom. That says add three, subtract two. Subtract two from what? Nothing. And then that's how we're down there at minus two. And then we get to our next action number here at five. Yeah. So how are we going to get from minus two to positive two? We're going to add four. That's why we're doing four times one unit. And it adds to the previous sum. And then we keep on keeping on. Bam. Our next one, seven, that one, that one. To get from two to one, we subtract one unit. And then all that. Box and step flower. Yeah.